Hi, welcome to the Daily Aviation Channel. This is Mark, and the plane you see here is the F-A-18, built by McDonnell Douglas in the 1980s. It is the second most used combat aircraft in the world, and since its inception, more than 1,500 units have been built, mainly for the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Marine Corps, who have been using the F-18 for more than 35 years now. Greatly improved in the 1990s with the F-18 Super Hornet version, it is still considered to be one of the most successful aircraft of its generation. The F-18 Hornet's ancestor was the YF-17, a prototype created at the beginning of the 1970s for the U.S. Air Force program called Lightweight Fighter. Unfortunately, the YF-17 lost against the YF-16 project in 1975. But a few months after this failure, the U.S. Navy started looking for an aircraft that could succeed its A-7 and F-4, but also help the F-14 Tomcat during its missions. The Navy quickly became interested in the YF-17 prototype and, in 1976, decided to retain it as its primary aircraft. But after much discussion, the U.S. Navy only retained the general configuration of the YF-17 and asked Northrop and McDonnell Douglas to make significant changes to the aircraft in order to make it compatible with its needs. The two companies, therefore, developed a prototype aircraft that was a little smaller than the YF-17, but much heavier. This prototype was quickly named F-18. The F-18 made its first flight on November 18, 1978, but because of several changes that had to be done to satisfy the Navy's needs, the test had to last several years longer. The U.S. Marine Corps and the U.S. Navy would, in fact, not put the F-18 into service until 1983. A few years later, following Grumman's cancellation of the A-12 Avenger II project in 1991, the U.S. Navy urgently needed a new aircraft to replace its aging F-18s. Lockheed Martin proposed its F-117, but the U.S. Navy wasn't interested and instead selected McDonnell Douglas's project. In fact, McDonnell Douglas simply proposed to improve the current F-18 Hornet by keeping the same plane and modifying it mainly from the inside. This new aircraft was heavier but much more powerful than the original F-18, and although it was a little larger, it kept the general look of the previous F-18. It was equipped with new engines, and its air intakes were modified to improve the air supply, but also to reduce its radar signature. With a length of 60 feet, a height of 16 feet, and a wingspan of 44 feet, the F-18 Super Hornet was specially designed to be used on an aircraft carrier and has, for example, folding wings so it can be easily parked in hangars or on a flight deck. Its landing gear was designed to withstand the formidable force of a catapult launch during which the F-18 is launched at over 170 miles per hour in less than three seconds. And to land on the aircraft carrier, the F-18 is equipped with an arresting hook located under the tail. This hook can stop the aircraft in a few feet once it touches the arresting wires laid across the aircraft landing area. The F-18 has a range of nearly 500 miles, but can go much further thanks to external tanks mountable under the wings. It can also perform air refueling when needed thanks to an in-flight refueling probe located in the nose of the plane. The F-18 Super Hornet is powered by two F-14 turbojets. Derived from the F-404 and developed by General Electric in the early 90s, more than 1,000 units of the F-414 were produced and equipped mainly the F-18 Super Hornet. This engine was built with an integrated afterburner that allows the F-18 Super Hornet to almost reach Mach 2 at high altitudes. To replace its aging EA-6B Prowler, the U.S. Navy put an electronic warfare version of the F-18 called EA-18 Growler, into service in 2009. This version has the same performance as the Super Hornet, which significantly facilitates the escort missions compared to the Prowler, who had lower performance and could have trouble following the F-18. The crew of the EA-18 Growler consists of two members seated in tandem. The pilot is in the front, and at the back is the operator of the electronic warfare system. To save space, the Growler does not have a cannon, and installed beneath its wings are pods for enemy target detection and jamming. 
The F-18 is also used by the famous squadron demonstration, the Blue Angels. Created in 1946, the Blue Angels are the official aerobatics team of the U.S. Navy. They travel the United States to perform their aerobatics during air shows or during major sporting events such as the Super Bowl. One of the peculiarities of this patrol is that its pilots fly without anti-G suits, which are normally used to avoid losing consciousness during strong acceleration. This choice is a feat, considering the fact that the Blue Angels aerobatics are among the most impressive performances of this type in the world. The Blue Angels have been using the F-18 Hornet since 1986 and are expected to switch to the F-18 Super Hornet starting in 2021. That's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you haven't done so yet, don't hesitate to subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's free. You can also watch my other videos. And if you like my work, you can support me on Patreon to help me produce more content. Thanks and stay tuned for the next video.